Well, we uh, had quite a few uh, rings at the door today, as uh, evidenced by the ring doorbell going off every 30 minutes because we had a whole bunch of post-Christmas activity. I thought I was going to be getting some uh, presents. I was not getting any presents. Oh, that's not true. I did get a present. I got a trash can. So I got that going for me. But uh, the missus got quite a few boxes, and so before... Uh, She's able to get into them. I thought I'd open them up and see what we have. Both are from scrapbook.com, which is just uh, fantastic as always. Uh, we'll open this up. Let's see what we have. Oh my God. And it's heavy too, so we got our obligatory. Oh my God. She had like. They must have had a sale. This is unbelievable. Um, Echo Park Paper Company 6x8 album. Very festive after the new year. Must have hopefully been 190% off, but we'll leave that there. Uh, photo play, oh, a lot of Christmas stuff. It seems like it's uh, come in a little bit after the uh, new year, but there's some pieces of paper. She's planning ahead, she says. This is a craft tower. I'm not going to assemble this right now because I probably, uh, you can't comment while I'm opening this. You're not supposed to know that I'm opening them up. <laughs> so the cat's out of the bag. So apparently this is a tool made in China and it's a bunch of plastic and it looks like it, it's uh, four uh, quadrants of a thing that gets rubber banded together with these rubber bands. So I'll be interested to see what that looks like. Once it's all assembled. Archival ink. Poppy, prickly pear, bluebird, and thistle are the colors that we've uh, gotten today in the mail. Acid-free, permanent, and waterproof. So basically, I guess you do that, you use this on a on this paper. So you can use the prickly pear on the paper and uh, it won't uh, fade or uh, smear. Maybe that's what's going on here. So that probably makes it uh, that much better. Let's see. That's all the top stuff. There's a box within a box. We'll get back to that one. Another box within a box. Jeez, look at that. And some stuff at the bottom. Ooh, a Tim Holtz. These are very exciting. And it's a Sizzix. I'm surprised that uh, this hasn't become the newest rap star of the new uh, decade. Sizzix. And right here in our stage, Sizzix by Tim Holtz. Um, die embossing fold. Oh, it's just a folder? It looks like it's got a, a wreath. Yeah, a layered holiday wreath in it. So... Um, a whole bunch of stuff in there. So uh, that looks like um, it goes in that machine that smashes things. So um, maybe? Yeah, it must be the smasher. We got some uh, multi pack refills. Uh, I guess he's going like that notebook that she ordered, so that's, that's good. And, so, ooh, stickers. Stickers are always very exciting. Of course, they're not good for another 360 days, but that's, that's good. 25 days until Christmas. Oh, 20, anyway. All right, so let's see what's in the small box here. There's a white one and a white one. Oh, two 360 craft towers. I'll just open one because I'm afraid of what this is gonna look like.
Well, you have to be somewhat of a crafter just to get the stupid box open. Oh, God. tower. I think I'd like it better if it had food on it. But yes, it's okay. It's... Well, that's weird. Well, let's see. I mean, we can put this together real quick for the all of it, just so we kind of think of what's going on with this thing. I put together this metal thing last week. It was an Ikea drawer thing, and uh, it went together pretty easy, so maybe this will uh, kind of be the same way. It kind of looks like it. Maybe this goes in there like... Let's go in there like that. This thing goes on top like that. It's on a Lazy Susan. I don't know why they call it a Lazy Susan. If I were Susan, I'd be kind of ticked. What if she's not really all that lazy? Just call her that. So that goes like that. Oh, I missed a step. Shocker. These little guys hold it all together. I remember having these when I had braces. I had to put them in your mouth to hold your braces on. It's always a good time. So I'll flip this over like that. And then these snap in here like this. Much better at doing this kind of stuff than the stuff that she does with all the products that she orders. But it makes for a good symbiotic relationship. She makes the cards, and I together the craft that makes the cards. There we go. That, and then these obviously get put in here and at, at different levels depending on where you want to put them. And that must be what the other pack was for. Maybe they're extra. Extras? Here we go. So if you wanted to put even more in, you could put more in. So Or more on? More in. So then with two of them, I don't think you can stack them. I think you just get two and you put your stuff on here and away you go. So that's that box of sheer happiness. And I put all this together so it... Oops. Shit. Shoot. Oh, well, that's a great bag. So it all stays together. Okay, there's that. All right, one box down. Then we get the priority box. I think I know how to open these by now without killing myself. Oh, here we go. Luckily, I got her favorite knife out of the kitchen to open that with. Well, there's a lot of packing. That's always good. Jesus, what is this? Like a clown box or something? And Kringle paper. So, a lot of uh, paper. I guess this is maybe uh, paper that is, must, must be very hard to find if you have to order it online. Checkers. Checkers in red. So, Oh, you got an extra. She, she says she got an extra pack. Maybe as a bonus. Or maybe she clicked. I think she clicked two instead of 
one. Uh, some washi tape. I don't know why it's called uh, washi tape. It must be from Wisconsin or wa Waukesha or something. That sounds very, or Japan, maybe one or two. Let's see what, holy crap. Well, let's get through the paper before we get to all the other crap. Some holly jolly paper. What's this guy? Paper. Oh, and here's the order. Let's see. Jesus Christ. I guess I, I should probably look through all the, make sure, do the inventory to make sure we're not. My Mind's Eye Christmas Yuletide Collection. Berry with glitter accents. I don't know what the f no. Bit, what is this? Photo play. How do you even know what the hell is, all these are? Kringle and Company. So, simple stories. Uh, 12 by 12 collection pack. The heck? Well, I, hmm. I can't tell. She'll have to figure that out whether she got what she wanted. But here's the list. Uh, bit, dot, more dies. The man with the bag dies. Man with the bag dies. Oh, I hope she's not giving me a bag for Christmas. That's not going you know, to load well, even though it's after Christmas. Some uh, around the clock Christmas tree looks like some words. Oh, they're already cut out, so that must make things easy. Just glue them on and go. Um, more Christmas little cardstock doodles. Oh, and another. Oh, maybe. Oh, these are. Well, there's only one to and from. Well, maybe there's more two to's and from's. I guess these are tags that you can put on a bag. So that must be useful. There's numbers, because you need a lot of numbers when you're crafting. Oh, so you can make like an advent calendar or something. So you get all the dates. What's this guy? Ooh, dots. 60 enamel dots and puffy stickers. I guess you could make those like reindeer poops or something. I guess you put them on there. And hearts and stars and dots. So we got those going for us. Huh. I guess this guy is one that you would um, Put it down over paper and maybe spray it so then, or color it in or something so it, it just gives you the treescape. You'd probably have, oh, you use a, oh, you use a jumbo dauber and, and kind of make so you have a landscape of trees, a little stencil doodle thing. Oh, more cardstock die cut pieces. And oh ho 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 some some stamps. What would a box from Stamps and Company not be without stamps? Stamp Co. Stamp. What is that box? Stamp. Stamp R S. Where is this? Stamp. Stamp Co. Stamp. Stamparama. Stampenheimer. Stampmeister. Stamp. Oh, scrapbook, not stamp book. Scrapbook. Oh, I guess I need that for inventory later. She went on a shopping spree and a half. And yeah, they must have had a huge sale because everything in here is Christmas and it's 360 more days till back to Christmas. So, well, there you have it. Most interesting thing here must be the lazy, lazy Susan Craft Tower because, you know, you got to be able to store all your crap that you buy. All your washi tape, you know, put that in there. Yeah, but nothing for Rob. Well, thanks for stopping by to another episode of Honey Can't Craft.